Hi everybody and welcome to the studio and as you can see it's all about snow. I'm hoping you can read that because I often film my introductions on my phone and it has a habit of switching the image around so it does say snow. Right I've just finished painting a lovely tutorial for my patrons and it's a full colour snowman. It's bursting with their techniques, it's bursting with colour and it's such a fun tutorial full of lots of interesting techniques that everyone needs to know when you're painting with watercolours. It also includes a uh, traceable drawing as well on that one. And what I thought was I would share with you guys uh, a simpler version. And just because it's simpler doesn't mean it's not going to be lovely. And we're going to be using just two colours to paint a lovely, lovely snowman. And I'm hoping it's going to get you in the festive mood. Now, if you're enjoying my tutorials, then please do subscribe and push that little bell. That means you'll get a notification every time I post. And I will say this again, that I don't post constantly on YouTube. I am so busy with other arty commitments, especially my Patreon channel. So once a month, I usually post something uh, that I hope you guys are going to enjoy. So subscribe and tinkle the little bell. Right, are you ready? I'll stop waffling on. <laughs> Go grab your brushes and let's paint a snowman together. As always, I'm going to go through the materials with you before we start to paint. I've got a piece of Fabriano and I've just cut it to this nice long length and it's a knot surface. Uh, I've got a bit of Fabriano here, a little bit that I cut off the top actually. I'm going to use that as my palette. I've got a yellow ochre, a cadmium red and I've got the Daniel Smith Moon Glow. But of course you can use any red, any yellow, any blue, doesn't really matter. Uh, in fact, it's nice to play about and experiment with that, isn't it? I've also got this, which is my go-to. And no, I'm not on a commission for these guys, but I love this stuff. I use it all the time. And it's the Dr. Martin's Bleed Proof White. And if you're in need of a highlight or a bit of snow, it's in a bottle. <laughs> I've got my toothbrush as well, because I'm going to be using that to make some snow. And I've got two brushes here, a size eight and a size six round. I've got the drawing on my paper. It's a very simple drawing of a snowman. There we go. This lovely hat. And notice I just haven't drawn anything else. I've just drawn an indication of a twig for his arm, a bit of a scarf coming through there, and his lovely carrot nose. <laughs> and previously, this is the tutorial, this is the Patreon tutorial. And I loved, absolutely loved doing this tutorial. Uh, and that's why I'm, I'm doing this other one now. So yeah, I got so carried away. I thought, I enjoyed that so much. I want to do another one. And what I thought was it would be a nice warm up before you attempt the Patreon tutorial. So this could be a lovely warm up before then, couldn't it? So I've, I've covered the materials. I've covered why I'm doing this. <laughs> I've covered everything apart from I haven't got any coffee. So I'm gonna go and get one now and then we'll get started. Using my small brush, I'm now going to start to put in some lovely, luscious reds. So let's give his hat a bit of a red here. Let's give him a red, red band on his hat. I've made that quite thick, but I'm going to put a little bit of water onto this side just to give that illusion that it's lighter on one side because that's where I'd like the light to come from, just there. Oh, what else can we do that's red? We could do a scarf, couldn't we? You could have a red scarf. I did a stripy scarf for the other one, so I'm just going to keep this nice and plain. There we go. Lovely red scarf. Bit of water on my brush, just blocking in that shape. Keeping our snowman all snuggy warm. <laughs> there it is. And we'll also see that scarf just coming out in this to this section here and of course you can change that direction you don't have to have it exactly the same as mine let's have it coming out like that look and then oh should i add some tassels let's add some little little tassels on his scarf there look there we go looking like they're blowing in the wintry wind Oh, he needs a carrot nose, doesn't he? So let's take a little bit of the yellow and mix it with our red and make ourselves a nice, nice orange. There we go. Perfect. And we'll put in his carroty nose. Oh, 
while I've got that orange on my palette here, I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it into the twiggy arm as well. There we go. Just drawing in a few little twig shapes as we go. Perfect. I'm going to let this one completely dry. So once it's nice and dry, we can continue. So I'm going to start with this hat. So let's just take some of that lovely moon glow and let's pop in the shape of the hat here. I'll start with my darkest side on this side. I'm going to go over the red and along that rim. Now I'm going to add some water. Just going to soften that ever so slightly. There we go. Let's bring that shape round a little bit as well. So now we can draw in the shape of the hat. And what I'd like to do is put a shadow onto his head now. So I'll just, sorry, I'll just straighten that a little bit. So I'm going to just dilute that a little bit. I don't want it to be too strong at this point. I'd like a little highlight here. So I'm going to leave a little shape there like that. So I'm going to bring this shadow colour down. Maybe a little bit darker. I'm going to take the shadow colour and I'm going to put it over the scarf. And again, I'm only doing this halfway round. I'm just going to stop there and add a bit of water. And I'm going to bring this lovely shadow across. Down it goes. Lots of water. If you wanted to preserve some snow on these little twiggy arms, you could always put in uh, some masking fluid or some whack resist. I'm just continuing with that lovely shadowy colour, bringing it down, letting it connect with this bottom half. And it's a very subtle little shadow. There we go. He looks better already, doesn't he? I'm going to put a little bit of yellow into him as well. Just tap a little bit of the yellow into his snowy body. Just a bit. And a touch of that red as well. Just a little smidge of that. Oh, he's looking super duper already, isn't he? <laughs> okay. Again, I do need to let this completely dry because what I want us to do now is some negative painting. So it looks quite sweet as it is. And there's, you know, you could darken underneath the twig here. And oh, yes, we could actually, which I've forgotten to do. I'm going to put a little shadow against this scarf like that. So once you put the eye in and a little mouth, then you could say that yours is finished. But I'm going to let this one dry and I'm going to continue to work on it uh, and show you how we can do some negative painting. So it's nice and dry now. And before we do any more work onto the snowman himself, let's play around with some negative painting. My favourite thing to do. I'm coming in with my big brush this time, the size 8. It's not a big brush, but it's bigger than the other one, isn't it? So, and I've got a lot of surface area to fill here. So I want to make sure that I'm not using a small brush because that would take forever. <laughs> I'm going to take that off. I've got a little bit of tape there just holding it in place. And I'm going to start to paint into this section here. And I'm going to let the washes run in this kind of diagonal uh, wash in this way, sorry. And that's where we're going to add a bit of spraying and a bit of snow. So it's important that we get this bit right. And I'm coming in with quite a thick paint now. I'm going to come in on his top hat. So I'm just painting around that shape. So I'm making this wash darker than his hat. And I can add water to that now and just pull it out. Give it a bit of flow. And 
and I'm going to do this all the way down. So around his little face, around his hat, oh, along the edge of his lovely carrot nose. <laughs> there we go. Around the head again, around the scarf, the bottom of his carrot nose. And once we've got that in with the point of the brush, then we can use the flat of the brush just to block in. And I'm adding water all the time to that wash. Sometimes I'll go in with a stronger wash like here. And other times I'll just add water and just allow that wash to flow. Mm, we've got a tricky bit here, haven't we? Let's see if we can do this. Let's see if we can just put some lovely long marks like that in, just to suggest his scarf. A bit more water. I'm going to give that a little spray. I like to do it when it's just about to dry. Maybe just drop in some more paint there, look. I'm going to keep this half a little bit lighter, so it, it's okay to have a line of paint there because we'll be going back over it. Shall I spray this? Okay, give it a spray. Oh, look at all that lovely texture. <laughs> Don't spray too much though, or you'll lose all your paint. I'm going to let that dry in this position because if I move it back to where it round to the top, then all this, these lovely runs are going to run back into that and that's something I don't want. I could of course use a thirsty brush, just squeeze the water out and just lift them away, but for now I'm going to let it completely dry on this side and come back and add some more washes at the bottom. So this one is nice and dry and I want us to put some details into the snowman itself. I'm just going to continue with this wash here that I left earlier. Just put a bit more more of that wash onto that. I want it to be lighter on this side, so much more water. I'll just soften that down. Lots of water, there we go. And I'm going to put a little bit here as well. Just creating that snowy shape of the body. And the scarf. That's better, isn't it? A bit of continuity. Right, I'm going to take my small brush now and oh, let's have a bit of fun. Let's let's make his hat a little bit darker on each side. So just on this side, I'm going to make that a bit darker. I have to be careful there, don't I? Because that wash is wet, isn't it? <laughs> and we'll make that bit a bit darker as well. And I'm going to run another shadow now, just underneath the brim of the hat there. Again, just soften that down, bring it down like that. And that's much better, isn't it? Let's put a little eye in. <laughs> so our snowman can see. I'll just put a little circle shape like that. And oh, a happy, a little bit of a shadow, I think, from his nose. That would be nice, wouldn't it? And he needs a smiley mouth, doesn't he? All snowmen need a smiley mouth. So there we go. So we'll just put some little dots like that, just to suggest his lovely smiley face. <laughs> we could put some buttons on as well, couldn't we? One. Let's put a couple of buttons on there, look. Like so. Just a couple of things now. I'd like to darken this twig shape. I'm quite happy with how everything else is looking. Uh, I do think I just need a slightly darker tone under there. I'm going to put it in while it's still wet. Just that lovely, stronger tone. There we go. And while I've got that on my brush, I'm going to put a bit of shadow work into the twig shape as well. So I'm just going to put some nice little darks into that. Got to be careful because that wash is wet. I'm just putting some little circular marks and just blending that in with that lovely twig shape. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're painting for fun. There we go. And I think it needs a little shadow as well. That would be nice, wouldn't it? So a little shadow underneath. So 
So it looks like someone stuck that lovely little twig <laughs> into his snowy body. There we go. And of course, you know, it is your picture. You can keep adding details or taking details away with a, with a wet tissue. I'm going to make my shadow underneath the scarf shape a little bit darker. Cleaning my brush. So I've put the mark in and I'm just softening that away. There we go. Oh, I think we're nearly done. Yeah, that's gone a bit fuzzy, hasn't it? The uh, his twiggy arm. But that's all right. I think a few more darks underneath the, the bottom half now. So I can just, maybe just tap some in. That might be quite nice. So yeah, that works, doesn't it? <laughs> bit of tapping, always fun. I want to add some snow. I'm desperate to add some snow. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, I should wait till it's completely dry, shouldn't I? But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just go for it now. Why not? So, my favourite bleed proof white. If you don't know what this stuff is, check it out. It's just like a little paste, white paste in there. And I can use my toothbrush. Just wet that toothbrush a little bit. And just pick up some of that lovely paint on my toothbrush and I can splatter some snow. Let's let's put some just into these lovely darker areas here. Oh, that is just so satisfying. <laughs> and the problem is you just want to keep doing it, don't you? But I know it's time to put my toothbrush down. <laughs> And yes, I've made a bit of a mess and you might have made a bit of a mess as well. But do you know what? It doesn't matter. Have you had fun? That's the question you need to ask yourself. Have you enjoyed painting that? Have you had fun? And I would say definitely yes. <laughs> there you go. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.